Dion, um, it's always disappointing to, to lose a test match. Um, and you've got a deciding test this week. Um, d does, is there sort of an inclination to sort of maybe sort of, I mean, you tried things that were new on Saturday, that's what I'm trying to say. Are you going to carry on in that direction, or because you're playing for the series now, sort of revert maybe to more the sort of game you played against the Lions last year, for instance? Uh, listen, it's, it's always awful to, to lose in a Springbok jersey. That's something that you don't want. Um, but, um, I mean, uh, the team that we've selected last week was part of a bigger picture and the plans that we had in mind. And I think that was well communicated to everyone within the squad um, in terms of what we want to achieve. Um, but obviously, playing every game, as I said, we, want, we play to win. And uh, um, we know now, going into this game, um, which, which, is, which is actually a final, um, and, and, and taking that into consideration, um, uh, the World Cup is also about finals, it's about knockout games, and uh, having seen so much about the whole squad, the 42 players that played um, under the circumstances, under pressure in, in a test match, gives, gives us now the opportunity to, to sort of make, make a selection um, based on, on on, on the roadmaps of the players, their performances, um, uh, in terms of our game plan, to make a selection um, that we think will suit the best going into this game. Um, yeah, and with that in mind, obviously, I think we will we will select which we think is the best possible side um, to give us a good result this coming Saturday. Dion, um, you, you guys set quite high standards for yourselves. Um, would you agree that in both tests that you guys probably haven't achieved the standards, those standards yet, or where you want to be? No, definitely. I mean, um, we, we we always try we always try to achieve uh, and to play towards uh, the best of our ability, um, but we also uh, um, know that there is certain um, there will always be. Be, be, be obstacles that we will have to overcome and also because we're playing against the quality quality side and quality competitors in, 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 in Wales um, but uh, yeah this it's always good that if if you know there's things that you can improve on can work on to become better uh, um, that is that is part of the growth of, 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 of getting um, into sort of a, the, the game plan that we want and the execution that we want from our players. But at the same time, you, you, your second half had loved us, and most of the game last week was there. Was, there was also quite a lot of encouragement, wasn't there? I mean, there's a lot of promise. No, definitely. Listen, we 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 are fortunate in that situation that we've got um, so much quality players, and I think uh, if you look think about this squad of 42 or more, I mean, we we've got a, a lot of confidence in, in 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 all of these players. There's maybe one or two players that that you that you not worry about but where you where you where you think about the ability to perform at this level but um, that was also the, the reason why we with confidence selected an, a new team for the second test because we feel that there's a lot of talent there's a lot of ability it's just a matter of of exposing the players to to the uh, um, the pressure of test match rugby and 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 then and then see how they as individuals react um, in terms of the physical demands of the game, um, how, do, how do they make decisions under pressure, how do they execute their, their skill set under pressure, and, and all of those things now, um, because we've looked at it now, it gives us a lot of answers um, in terms of the ability of players or in terms of our game plan and, 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 and where we can go from it. So whether we've lost or whether we've won the game, the, uh, the situation that we have found ourselves in now gave us more lessons to learn from going forward. Um, if we did not do that, then maybe um, if we've won the game and, and it was now uh, just a rubber stamp game to, to complete the series, maybe the players wouldn't have got, gotten that, that, that opportunity to perform under, under a final, under a situation with, with a lot of pressure. Uh, and, and yeah, we're fortunate that we are in that position. Do you have to what extent um and maybe France can weigh on this as well because he's played against them a lot. Um, the, the Welsh always give, yeah, just a word on your opposition, really. Um, the Welsh always give me the impression that they're the one team, um, well, outside of maybe the All Blacks, uh, that, that, that can sort of, that don't get as intimidated by your physicality. You know, even the other team, even England every now and then, mm. like at the World Cup final, you get the impression that they sort of take a step back. 
But the, the Welsh, they, 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 I mean, they don't have as many punches as you, punches as you. But they, it's almost like they're sort of like if it was a boxing fight, they sort of take a lot of hits, but they still they still keep standing up. Um, how, how much do you think that, that that assessment is true? I mean, they do seem to be sort of they, they don't seem to mind the physicality as much as some of the other teams. Do. No, definitely. I mean, this is something that we. That we've talked from the start, um, and also in terms of past experience against Wales, is that they are the, one of those teams that that are prepared to go to dark places and challenging you there. Um, um, I mean, if you look, just look at the intent of the of the the tackles that they've made uh, in the past Test match, and 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 how they really gave massive comp uh, uh, competition in terms of of, of stopping malls or, or or getting to us, getting stuck into the scrums and stuff. <clears throat> there is um, said a testament of, of, of the ability to, uh, um, to to stuck in there and and we've said from the start um, that listen uh, we will have to we will have to impose ourselves for 80 minutes on them if you if you if you lack that uh, in terms of character or in terms of what you want to achieve then then it will be it will be difficult but also from our side I mean we as I said um, uh, Looking back at the game, I think uh, uh, your discipline. If you if, if if you're not disciplined against a team like Wales, you give them an opportunity to to gain territory advantage and get themselves in a better position, and and they will consistently be uh, be in the game. So that is that is areas that that we can improve on. And and when you get opportunities, you have to make sure that you take those opportunities because against a team that gets stuck in there for 80 minutes, it becomes difficult the longer the game goes on. Reaction to the defeat? Oh, obviously, like I said today, you know, it. First of all, I think we we're a squad, we're one squad, and when you're not playing, it's your responsibility to help the team that's playing as best as you can in the preparation in the week. Obviously, it's the the result isn't the one we wanted, um, but as I. As I said earlier, you know, it's a squad and it's our responsibility to rectify that. Can that on just uh, on the forward pack, the discipline the coach came afterwards to say that the discipline probably let the team down as well, giving Welt an opportunity. Um, at scrum time, whether it be early engagement or whatever, there's quite a few issues around that. So what was your assessment and, and how, did, how does things change moving forward into that final test and Saturday? Yeah, as you said, um, and as our coach said, discipline is massive for us. Um, I can't talk on behalf of the guys that was on the field. There's the new ruling about the handbrake of the hookers, which I think we got wrong twice. Mm. Um, and the one where they said we scrummed early. Um, on the on the break foot, it's something we need to clarify. Um, and, you know, I can't talk on behalf of the guys that was on the field. I don't know how it was implemented and how the, what the communication was between them and the ref. It's just, as I said um, to Stephen as well, it's our responsibility now in the week to clarify that and to have a clear plan you know, to go into the weekend. Just to follow up on Steve's question, Prats, so just as a group, um, you know, following following the results and the performance and the team that was selected, I mean, is there a sense within the broader group not to panic at this stage? I mean, is everyone kind of very calm about where you are? I mean, one result doesn't change everything that's been achieved over the last couple of years, I would imagine? Yeah, obviously the, the, the situation we're in is the reality. So, as I said, it's our responsibility you know, to be clinical and you know to be responsible this week in our prep, to be as you know as best as, as best as we can be um, going into the weekend, and to treat it as a final because it is the final of the series. Dion, uh, saying that I mean you guys have lost your number one ranking now as well. I, I know I mean that's one of those things, but I mean. How much does that factor into your guys' mind? And it's obviously not that you want to always be at number one. And uh, I think every every um, if you look at a, a vision or a long-term vision or plan, um, 
wanting to become number one, wanting to be world champions, I think uh, that must still be your aim always. But for us now, it's 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 the current situation. You understand, and and focusing on rather our performance now and 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 how can we become better. And, and I think from that there on, the rest will will take its course. Uh, because I mean, you only get there and you only stay there by 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 staying in the moment and working as hard as possible to. To, to, to give your best every time um, in order to, to, to get that position on the lock. Time following the Rugby World Cup win, <clears throat> was there any different time in terms of the matches that the team played? You guys weren't exposed to fans and stuff. There's been our two proper games where you've actually been able to experience that in-person communication with the media. How different and good, in a sense, has that been for the team and for the setup itself? No, it's fantastic to, be, to, to play in front of... Uh, Crowd again. I think the crowd at Loftus Fairfield and this weekend in Bloemfontein were tremendous. I mean, you you have to be there to actually uh, experience that. And we we are thankful f uh, that we have so many uh, people in South Africa that are passionate about the Springboks and uh, um, and and enjoy watching the rugby. Um, and I think that 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 is really um, uh, um, is massive or means a lot to us. Um, and um, especially when you lose a game, you, you, you get that sense that listen, ugh, maybe we've disappointed the people, and and, um, and and that is not, as I say, as Springboks, we we just want to give our best every time we, we run onto our field, knowing that 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 we have that that type of support, um, and yeah, we know maybe this weekend in Cape Town it will it will be the same, and then we're looking we're looking forward to play against. Uh, uh, people of Cape Town.